Hello everyone. Firstly, I would introduce my fellow friends. Their names are Michael, Harry, and Jeremy, and myself, Rafi. In this presentation, we are going to provide some important facts about the supply chain of Mercedes-Benz, uh, which is produced by a very famous German company in, named Daimler. Now I'll pass it to my fellow friend, Michael. Hello, I'm Michael. Uh, now I will inform you where the Mercedes cars are made and how they are made. As you can see, the Mercedes cars are made in eight manufacturing plants across the world, and uh, three of them which are located in Germany, and uh, there is one production plant in each of the USA, France, Hungary, Brazil, and South Africa. Now, how they are made. Uh, Mercedes first developed their concept cars through their expert team and uh, developed their prototypes. Then they will test their cars and make, change, make changes to any flaws and finalize the prototype. Uh, then they will uh, order the components they need from their suppliers. Uh, once they receive the components, uh, they can assemble the cars and finally inspect whether the whether up to the mark. Um, and Mercedes cars components are from many suppliers all over the world, which are mainly located in United States, Brazil, Argentina, Russia, China, India and Turkey. Now I'm going to pass back to my teammate Rafi. Uh, Father, uh, I would like to talk about where from the raw materials are sourced. In, in, in an automobile industry, it, uh, for making cars, there are few steps uh, which are used and they are steel, copper, aluminum, glass, plastic and fiber. However, the main raw materials which are mainly used from different countries and the countries are China, India, United States and Mexico. However, the basic raw materials are provided by China. Father, I would like to talk about how long and how many steps it takes for the car to be produced. Uh, in an average, it takes almost five months to reach the raw materials into the assembly plant of Mercedes-Benz into two steps. The raw materials such as steel, copper goes into the different components of manufacturers who then process them into the desired components for Mercedes-Benz such as the steel, copper or, or body of cars. It takes average 6 to 10 weeks uh, for the production of the car. Or, however, it's quite a lengthy process. Now I'll pass it to my fellow friend, Harry. Yeah, and I'm going to discuss about uh, uh, key issue of the Benz supply chains. Based on this picture, we can see every single part of the Benz is from different country and from different company. Uh, so it took a lot of time to deliver the parts and produce it. And as my teammate said, uh, they said uh, every Benz car produced by a lot of companies, so it costs a lot of time. So if uh, you it will it will make loss for the Benz company and there are three key uh, risk may happen like decrease of the sale, out of control of the quality of the parts and unpredictable risk. And then there's a news it's about how uh, Benz has done for their uh, supply chain. They spent hundreds of million euros to update their uh, logistic network. Uh, it will reduce the cost and improve the profit. And I think banks maybe can sell their patent to other country and you can help <coughs> banks to avoid the risk of delivery. Then my teammate Jeremy will keep going. Well, my, my name is Jeremy and I'm going to talk about the performance measure and uh, how banks better their supply chains. First of all, uh, I'm going to talk, I'm going to uh, use an example in China. Uh, called the BBDC, which is a uh, uh, Beijing Benz Stylum Chrysler, as an example to uh, illustrate everything. Although the Chinese staff has a limited experience in uh, 
entrepreneurial resource planning and uh, electro electronic data interchange, BBDC has decided to use the fallback and processing the new plan to perform the timely screens. The BBDC has decided to adopt a comprehensive and timely sort sort of supply operation process to achieve a variety module mixed production needs. The solution of doing this is they are going to using the B2B online platform and uh, the offline connection to achieve achieve the uh, cooperation with the uh, uh, leading suppliers. It also use the uh, web EDI to uh, integrate a small medium size uh, supplier and a third, third part logistics which allow BDVDC to in integrate all the information of production and the, the AIHB10 intelligent barcode and uh, about the, uh, the how they balance the supply chain in bidding BBDC will find at least at least three supply three or more supply suppliers to meet their requirements tell them that will tell them the uh, the module describe the production and uh, what technology I need I need and let them get into the uh, competitive competitive system. The BBDC will analyze the price and the, the qual will analyze the price and the quality and the, the system of how they manage their quality. So this is an our and this is the end of our presentation. Thank you.